very good morning all of you students i am rajni galot pgt english from bhavgra devra saswati vidya mandir today i am going to explain the first poem of class 11th from hornbill book the name of the poem is a photograph which is composed by shelley tolson so shelley tolson firstly i am to, uh, telling you in brief about shelley tolson who was she and where was she born and when she was born in 20th may 1924 in england and she was a she was not only a writer but an editor and who came under influence of satiric christianity and tolson in poems she write photograph and describes the emotions felt as she remembered the story behind the image and what it means to the poet in this poem she is describing about the photograph and what when she watched that photograph she saw that photograph so she the mind she remembered the story uh, and image of this photograph under this photograph what does it mean to her so this these are the lines of the poem first line is the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousin went paddling cardboard means a photo frame which is made of cardboard with the help of support of cardboard and a frame uh, of wooden and in this frame we always attach a photograph so the poet shows a photograph how it was now she is telling us whose photograph is this and what is described and what is the emotions of this photograph when she was this photograph what did she feel usse kaisa mehsoos hua jab usne us photograph ko dekha usko apne matlab kuch yaadein taaza ho aayi when the two girls cousin went paddling each one holding one of my mother's hands and she the big girl some 12 years or so so this photograph is not of, uh, of the poet this photograph is about the poet and poets uh, sorry about the poet's mother and mother's two cousin you can see a photograph in this photograph there is an eldest girl who is poet's mother not poet poet's mother and these two girls are the mother's cousin poet the cousin of the poet's mother okay so they went paddling and because the mother of the poet was eldest and these two girls was smaller is younger than her that's why they were holding one of my mother's hands dono ne पोइट की मदर के दोनों तरफ से हाथ पकड़े हुए थे क्योंकि वो दोनों छोटी थी और कहाँ थी ऑन द बीच ऑफ द सी समुद्री के समुद्र के किनारे पर थी और समुद्र के किनारे पर जो वेव्स आती हैं करंट्स आती हैं तो उसे छोटे बच्चों को डर लगता है गिरने से दैट्स वाई बोथ द गर्ल्स बोथ द कजन्स ऑफ द पोइट्स मदर वॉज होल्डिंग द हैंड्स ऑफ द पोइट्स मदर एंड शी द बिग गर्ल शी मीन्स द पोइट्स मदर वॉज एल्डेस्ट Among us, these three girls, who was very big, and at that time her age was near about twelve or so, about twelve or so. 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 Twelve stillness if we will move then the, and our photograph will be blurred so that's why these three girls were standing still to uh, snatch their photograph wo teeno ladkiyan still sthir khadi hui thi aur with a smile on their face to give a photograph photograph khichwane ke liye and through their hair means unke jo baal the their hair was scattered on their faces due to the strong wind on the beach beach par the obviously strong winds chal rahi thi that's why their hair was scattered on their faces unke chehre par unke baal hain baal bikhre hue the so uh, through their hair they were smiling they were passing their smile for a photograph photograph ke liye wo smile pass kar rahi thi still khadi hui thi my mother uh, at 
the uncle with the camera and who was taking their photograph the uncle of poet's mother not the uncle of poet the uncle of poet's mother was taking their photograph wo unka photograph le rahe the he was standing with the camera and these girls went on paddling with their uncle it means it is clear so a sweet face my mother's that was before i was born and in that photograph the poet remembered that the face of her mother was looking very sweet and she was looking very innocent why she was looking very sweet and innocent because this photograph was taken before the marriage of the poet's mother or before the birth of the poet that's why she was a small girl in that photograph that's why she was looking very beautiful she was looking very cute and sweet and the sea which appears to have changed less was their terribly tragic fate or the sea as we know that sea is there are very few changes in the sea have you ever listened that the sea has been uh, dry right kya aapne kabhi suna hai ki samudra sukh chuka hai nahi samudra kabhi sukhta nahi hai usme changes aate hain according to the weather kabhi jaise disasters aa jate hain but there are no changes in the in the sea sea kya hai terrible transit fee sea kya hai hamara nashwar hai sorry amar hai means mortal hai and that was washing the uh, print of the feet of the poet's mother and her two cousins wo jo samudra hai unki maa ke un pairon ke nishanon ko wash kar raha hai jo ki ek din mit jayenge and they have become removed because her mother is no more now so terribly transit transit means movable which will uh, moved which will removed from the world some 20 now there is the description of another scene that was the uh, scene when the poet's mother was a young girl now th- there is the description of that time when her mother has uh, when the poet had has had been born and her mother was looking the photograph after 20 or 30 years later lagbhag 20 or 30 saal baad jab poet ki mother us photograph ko dekhti hai she had laughed at the snapshot us snapshot par wo bahut hasti hai why did she laugh to was the photograph she betty and dolly the name of poet's mother's cousin was betty and dolly this is just read in this paragraph in second paragraph the name are mentioned of the mother's cousins poet's mother's cousin betty and dolly now uh, the poet addressed them and said to her uh, and point out to them and said to her daughter that see betty and dolly how are they looking how are they dressed up means uh, including herself kehte hain hame dekho kaise dress up kiya gaya hai she would say she would say see betty and dolly she had say and look how they dressed us for beach मतलब अपने पेरेंट्स के लिए कहती हैं अपनी मदर के लिए कहती हैं कि देखो हमें बीच पर बीच के लिए कैसे ड्रेसअप किया गया है तो अपनी इस चीज वॉज लाफिंग टू सी द ड्रेसिंग सेंस ऑफ हर एंड हर कजन द सी हॉलीडे वॉज हर पास्ट नाउ देर आर चेंजेस इन द लाइन्स द पोइट इज डिस्क्राइबिंग इन दिस लाइन्स दैट the see poet the poet's mother was missing her past what was her past her childhood her happy childhood her sea holidays which she spent in her childhood she when she was 12 years old so the poet said that the sea holiday was her past her means poet's mother sea holiday was the past of the poet's mother and mine is her laughter and the poet tells us that what is her past the laughter of her mother was the past of the poet dono cheeze alag alag hai poet ka past kya hai apni maa ki hansi aur mother ka past kya hai the sea holiday the childhood happy childhood of her mother dono hi apne apne loss par dukhi hai both are said on their losses poets on the laughter of her mother because she was uh, 
सैड ऑन द लाफ्टर ऑफ हर मदर बिकॉज बोथ राइट विद द लेबर्ड इज ऑफ लॉस क्योंकि नाउ द पोइट्स मदर इज नो मोर पोइट की मदर नहीं है शी हैड बीन जॉयड लेबर्ड इज स्टूडेंट्स एक चीज देख सकते हैं हम इस लाइन में देखिए ऑपोजिट वर्ड्स यूज वेन लेबर्ड इज इट मीन्स विच फिगर ऑफ स्पीच इज यूज इन दिस फ्रेज लेबर्ड इज मीन्स ऑक्जी मोरोन ऑक्जी मोरन दोनों जो है क्या है ऑपोजिट वर्ड्स है लेबर्ड एंड इज दैट्स वाई ऑक्जी मोरन फिगर ऑफ स्पीच इज यूज देयर सो दोनों ही अपने अपने दुख पर अपने अपने लॉस पर दुखी हैं पोइट अपनी मदर की हंसी खो चुकी है और मदर उस समय किस बात पर दुखी थी शी हैड लॉस्ट हर हैप्पी चाइल्ड हुड नाउ शी हैज़ बीन डेड नियरली एज मैनी ईयर्स एज द गर्ल लिव्ड सो नाउ द पोइट इज डिस्क्राइबिंग अस दैट ही इज शी इज नॉट टेलिंग अस डायरेक्टली हाउ मैनी ईयर्स ओल्ड हैज बीन टू डे हर उसकी मदर को डेथ हुए कितने साल हो चुके हैं उन्होंने एक फ्रीज यूज की है टू कन्फ्यूज द स्टूडेंट्स That how many years that lived, that girl lived means at when this photograph was taken. What was the age of the poet's mother? Near about twelve years old. So how many years have been to die her mother? Twelve years old. So the उनकी mother की death हुए कितने साल हो गए हैं? बारह साल. जितने साल की वो उस समय थी जब ये photograph लिया गया था उतने ही साल उनकी death को हो चुके हैं. And of this circumstance, there is nothing to say at all because now she is describing about the death of her mother. So that's why she has become very emotional, and she has no words to describe. So there is only silence and silence, and silence. इसलिए उस समय चारों तरफ सन्नाटा छा जाता है क्योंकि now the poet is very sad due to the death of her mother. so which figure of speech is used in this line silence silence same word is repeated repeated there that's why uh, uh, repetition figure of speech is used alliteration and uh, repetition same letter and same words are used there the same words ya same letters ka ek hi line mein use ho raha hai to wahan par hum kaun si figure of speech use karte hain alliteration so this is the summary in short I am going to explain it once again. The poet calls the memory of her later mother. उनकी मदर की डेथ हो चुकी है उनको याद कर रही हैं Gazing at the frame, frame को देखते हुए घूरते हुए वेयर द फोटोग्राफ ऑफ हर मॉम अलॉन्ग विद कजन्स बैटी एंड डॉली इन देयर प्री टीन्स अपने प्री टीन्स एज में टीन एजर्स में दे वो एंजॉइंग देयर सी हॉलीडेज इन दैट फोटोग्राफ द फोटो रेफर्स टू वन ऑफ द देयर विजिट्स टू द सी बीच एंड एट दैट टाइम The mother's face had the sweetness of a young girl because that photograph was taken before the birth of the poet. That's why she was very sweet in her teen years. And the transient feet refers to the transients, uh, transients of the life. The life ke transfer ko ki movable life ko ki life jo hai hamari wo uh, that is not permanent. Okay, temporary. So she she recalls how mom had looked at. the photograph after 20 30 years later and laughed at the at the uh, at trees that she had her cousins were wearing and she laughed to see the dress of her mother and uh, of her and her cousins and she holiday was the thing of past of her and her smiling face and became, had become a thing of the past of the uh, past for the poet just as the mother's childhood had been for her both of them mom and poi now move on despite the losses so now she has been there for about 12 years she the void in the life of the poi is silence and gloom that she feels so which figure, figure of speech used in the line oxymoron labored in labored is which is the which is the context may mean uh, avoiding the public display of grief so students This was the poem of photograph I think it has been clear to you thank you students have a nice day and take care of it